Okay. Uh, Opo ko kayong lahat. Salamat po. Uh, it is not because I want to impress you their presence, but rather I will just introduce them para malaman po ninyo ang mga opisyal ninyo, kaming taga-guberno na binabayaran ninyo to serve the Filipino people. <clears throat> I'd like to, yes, of course, si Jun Yasay. Then we have the Secretary, Carlos Dominguez III, sa finance. Then we have Secretary Delfin Lorenzana, sa national defense. He used to be a general in the service of his nation in Mindanao many years ago. Nakakilala ka. Yung mga proponents at nakakatulong sa ating mga kababayan, sila si Secretary Ramon Lopez, yung go negosyo. Then uh, we have Secretary Jesus Doresa, who's working very hard. Uh, is. Uh, the lead part in talking to our uh, brothers and sisters who are uh, on the left, but uh, there's a talk going on between the government and the Communist Party of the Philippines. Uh, si Jesus Doresa is one of the sa panel ng mga sa gobyerno at hopefully, uh, you know, this war on sa ideology this has been going on for the last 45 years. So I ask the Communist Party, total halos magkapareho tayo ng balahibo. Uh, I belong to the left. Uh, I'm the first left president in po. Pero hindi po ako komunista. I am not a member of the Communist Party. But I share the same horizons because anak lang po ako. It's not because I am poor, but because... Uh, I am a son of a migrant on Samindanao, and we started, well, it was a long, hard sacrifice. It was then a, a frontier town. Then we have Secretary Yasmin Busanlao of the National Commission of Muslim Filipino. <laughs> At uh, ang tatay ko po ay Cebuano, but my, on the mother's side, ang lolo ko Chinese, ang lola ko Maranao, a Muslim. Then we have uh, Secretary Abul Kair Alonto of the Mindanao Development Authority. Then we have the favorite of uh, yung babae na madaldal. Favorito it as Senator Cayetano. And uh, Ito yung, the next is, uh, ito yung mga abogado na mga celebrity, mga, mga artista kung naghiwalayan, nagkadimandahan. Dito siya medyo perfect. Uh, Attorney Panelo, the presidential advisor. <laughs> then we have uh, a guy who's, uh, kilala niyo to by, by name, but... Uh, He's a music man, actually. He sings sa pakantahin, aba kung may panahon pa. He's really a rock and roll guy of the history years. Ramon Nacinto of the Economic Affairs and Information and Technology. And of course, uh, we have here the beautiful wife of Senator Gaetano, si Ma'am. Alarm. The mayor of Taguig City. Eh, ayong, si Ma'am talaga, is gusto niya background lang. Uh, then of course, Mr. Ambassador, thank you for the warm welcome, mga kababayan kong Pilipino. Uh, we, have, we have a very limited time, that's all. I think I'm the only one who's allowed to talk here uh, sa aming entourage. But let me start by just saying, uh, Marami pong salamat kay uh, Sultan sa Brunei, King for his uh, easy good friend. Uh, Your Majesty, thank you for uh, hosting a lot of Filipinos 
in your state and for being kind to them. Please accept you and your family and to the people of Brunei our gratitude and we will not forget that. Maraming salamat po. Na, ta, sa inyo na naman, maraming salamat na nanalo ako rito. With, uh, well, tell you something. I am not a member of the national persona. Hindi ako ninyo kilala. Mayor lang po ako ng isang ciudad sa Mindanao. I was an outsider really from the political elite. Hindi ako ililista kasag. Kaya ang problema ngayon din sa Pilipinas. I am not a member of the elite. I cannot be one and I will never be one. But you know, <laughs> sa nung election from the outside, uh, anywhere, uh, I had a landslide victory. That's the reason why nag-umabot ng 6 million yung lamang ko sa the nearest rival. It's because of uh, what was the message about. Ang problema sa Pilipinas, matagal na tayong, just uh, give you an analogy, ang Pilipinas to me take off, nakaposisyon, patakbo. But hanggang ngayon, hindi talaga nag-lift. There is no lift to bring it to the air of just even a comfortable life or a peaceful life for everybody. Tumatakbo lang tayo sa runway ng... And uh, ako po, I've been the mayor of Tabo City for 23 years. Naging uh, congressman ako. I was once upon a time, the vice mayor of my daughter, yung nanuntok ng <laughs> sheriff, si Inday, she's now back being mayor. But she's, uh, um, hindi masyado sa mobile because she, she lost two of her, yung son ng triplets. Uh, it's a very sad, uh, uh, for a expectant grandfather. So much expectations. Uh, inuuna mo na kasi na, laruin mo ganoon din. Uh, just na uh, sabihin sa'yo, there was a... So, well, anyway, uh, ang mensahe kasi lang lahat, sinabi ko, hindi ninyo ako kilala. Hindi naman ako sikat. Ayaw ko namang sumikat. At noon pa, during the time of Ramos, uh, they would like to see me in the cabinet and uh, kay Arroyo, pati kay Estrada, na I've always refused a cabinet position because I just wanted to be, you know, yung simple na buhay na walang yabang, walang eh, probinsyano. Eh. But you know what? It's destiny. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that, uh, I'm not belittling the, the party, my party, PDP, but it was almost a moribund thing uh, it was not moving except the father, Senator Pimentel, and the son, si Coco, who's now the Senate President. Yun lang ho ang ano. Wala ho akong except Aimee Marcos and Governor Abbott of uh, uh, Garcia Sabataan. Wala ho akong governor. Dalawa lang. Yung isa sa Mindanao, uh, I would not like to mention the name of the province, but only because uh, naging kabahagi ko siya ng buhay ko noon. Wala na ngayon. Hindi mo niyo kilala rin yun. You don't know her, so... But of course, uh, you guys from there, alam ninyo yan. Uh, it's it was an open secret that I was having an affair with her. Uh, pero ngayon wala. Balik tayo doon sa tamang istorya. Uh, pupunta na tayo sa babae. Yan ang hirap. But, uh, yeah, sometimes, uh, I, I'm like that. Pag uh, just spark of ano, babae, para akong karabaw na pwede mong hilain ng istorya for uh, babae. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, 
I won, and I really trying to figure out why. Why? Wala ang pera, wala naman nagbibigay, and uh, as I have promised you, and you can confirm this with everybody, wala akong tinanggap na pera sa mga malaking negosyante. Sabi ko, wala akong tinanggap dyan sa mga the usual. Uh, 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 gusto ko sabihin, pero <laughs> nandiyan na yan. Uh, uh, kasi ayaw kong makompromise. So, why? What, anyway, ganito yan. Ang Pilipinas, matagal na sanang kasitaas. It could have been soaring the skies of progress and development. Maybe, hindi kasing altitude ng umabot ka doon na almost the edge of the universe. But makatake off lang sana an administration after administration. A mayor ako, I was a living spectator to what was really unfolding in our lives. Election after election, puro binubuna mo, nagbulahan. Kaya nung nakita ko, nobody was talking about the conflict in Mindanao. We might, we might really lose a, a, a piece of real estate here. Nobody was talking about drugs. And almost all of them, except... How can they talk about righteousness in government? How do you explain a graph-free enterprise? Mahirap kasi yung mga doon, Sila mismo siguro, but yung military nila mismo, yung aid, eh, kasama doon sa droga eh. Paano, saan ang pupunta Pilipino? You must remember that there are 6,000 6, policemen contaminated with drugs in the Philippines. Kaya the last ang lista nila kung nang nilabas. Kasi... It, it will just shatter the dream of the Filipinos. Iko-contain ko na lang ito. In whatever manner you'd want me to do it. Basta alam ko, pati ang problema, ang mga mayors, pati barangay captains, almost 6,000 of them. And for the first time, a senator was elected to the national opening the portals of the government to narco-politics. Kasi, ah, tignan mo. I always said, you know, mahira ang bunga nga ni Duterte madumi. What? Kasi nagmumura ako. Ay, ba, six generals in the police into drugs. So they were the first ones to be fired. Na ito nga yung iba, yung malalaki. And most of the itong mayors, they play ang problema kasi pagka-polit, maswerte talak ako ang yung pinili. <laughs> eh, <laughs> hindi kasi ganito eh. Sa Dabao, yung naging mayor ako, eh dati akong prosecutor fiscal. So araw-araw nasa korte ako trying to secure a conviction just to send to prison itong mga durugista. Kaya galit ako every time a case is fixed or every time uh, the, the piece of evidence changes hands, ang dumadaki, dumadating sa akin tawas, an alum. Hindi na yung pareho yan sila, crystal. So these were the trying times of my life. Kaya nung kung walang mag-uusap nito, walang babunggo nitong mga animal na to, Kawawa ang bayan ko. Primero, why am I here? I am here because I love my country and I love the Filipino people. Kaya ganun. Ngayon, what drove me to the presidency? Patriotism. Small time lang. Small time mayor for the love of this country. No big deal. Walang pakialam kung mahal ninyong bayan ninyo. Basta sa akin, good my country. Kaya sinabi ko, what is wrong in this statement? 
Do not destroy my country because I will kill you. Simple lang yan. Do not destroy the youth of the land and deprive us of a brighter tomorrow for the next generation. What is wrong there? Human rights. Ano ka? Kaya ako nagmumura kasi napakabubo naman nila. <laughs> Hindi ako galit sa kanila. But I'm trying to say, I am totally ex exasperated as the word. Na hindi nila alam ang batas that it is not a crime even for a civilian Filipino walking the streets. To say, I hate the criminals. I hope they would die. I will kill them if I catch them. Perfectly all right. That's in defense. Me, that statement is in defense of my country and people. Alam mo kasi, ayaw nilang makinig we are devastated. That is why instead of just taking the usual police punitive action for arrest, mga ano dyan, sabi ko, I will declare war. Why? Again, three million. And that was two years ago. That figure was given by General Santiago when he was the head of the uh, PDEA, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. Tatlong, tatlong taon na, almost three. Itong akin ngayon, I'm still counting. So, aabot ito, by the looks of it, from the number of the surrenders that you saw on TV, it would reach, kasi 700, and it became 800. By the end of the year, I would have to deal with another one million. So, imagine mo, that four million is not contained in a room or a municipality province. It's nakasabog yung four million all throughout the country. So, anong gusto nilang gawin ko sa bayan ko? They keep on threatening me about go and sending me to the International Court of... Sinabi ko na nga eh, I am willing to rat in jail for the Filipino. Hindi pa niyo maintindihan yan? So do not keep on threatening or intimidating me, call, calling my attention. Napaka-corne mo naman. I find this ridiculous. How can you, how can you send to prison a president declaring war against the drug? Look what happened to Latin America. Almost failed states. Basahin mo yung nar narcos kung nakita niyo tape. And read Ion Grillo. I-O-N G-R-I L-L-O. Online. It's there. It's the South American experience of how the drug resulted in so many failed states. Hindi mangyari sa akin. My God. Di talaga ako papayag. Sorry na lang. Kaya kung sabihin nila na 3,000 ang namatay, well, alam mo kasi, huwag tayo magbulahan. Yung iba talaga dyan, pinatay talaga salvage. Yan tinatawag ng salvage or extrajudicial killing. I will not say there was none. Mayroon. Pero kung sabihin mo, state-sponsored killing, order ko na patayan niya, kakalukuhan niya. <laughs> Ang nangyari dyan, hinayaan namin, nag-intriga kami, maghuli ka dyan, pero hayaan mo lang, sabihin mo, ang nag, no, dos, ang, nag, ano sa kanya, nagsabi, ano, ano. so we had to create the intrigues. But remember that there were so many policemen, yung tinatawag nilang ninja. As a matter of fact, 2,000 apiece ako sa ulo nila. Because they are out of the service. They are now hunted. And magwarning ako, about ito ng Pilipinas. Adre, wag tayo magkasalubong. 
Pag nagkasulubong tayo, sorry na lang talaga. Totoo. Either patayin mo ako, o ng ina mo. Toto. Eh, hindi ako mapigil ng galit ko. Eh, hindi naman uh, si Duterte, hindi si Reitman. Not my countrymen never like to get rid of the problems. No such thing. Eh, wala ako ako. Ang, 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 ang pagkaalam ko, all that I know is that I ran for president and I won. I never applied to be a statesman. Hindi ko kaya yung prim and proper. Hindi ko kaya magbarong. Kita ma, maungmaong na tayo. Eh, barong. Kate. Eh, ako talagang maong. You know why? Para sabihin ko na sa inyo. Bakit sa dito? He cannot dress properly. Well, if you are looking for a sartorial elegance, all you have to do is look at uh, Attorney Panelo. Okay, tingnan mo sa patos. Uh, pati yung langaw, ba slides, uh, pasyayin ng sa patos niya. Tingnan mo. Uh, at ang akin, oh, di walang pasyayin, walang bras-bras. Tisyo lang yan sa banyo. <laughs> okay na. Never. Eh, Tinanggap ako ninyo ganito. Do, ganito ako. Bakit? Why do I? And for me, sabi nila, yung mga Manila guys, hindi nila alam. Yung elitista talaga. So you might want to tone down your curses, your epithets, your slurs. Well, depende sa crowd. If I am before yung ganitong kung mga durugista kayong lahat ka, siguro ngayon mga... 50 na natanggap niyo sa akin. <laughs> Pero dahil nandito ako, magpapasalamat nga yung mama sa inyo, eh, sa tulong ninyo. And I'd like to tell you frankly, it has to stop because it is destroying my country. And ang una talaga is, bakit hindi tayo nagtitake off yung corruption? So, sa panahon ko, 888, Bukas na yan. Tapos sabi ko sa RPN, si Secretary Andanar, after the news sa PTB4, I think it's the government channel, i-post na doon, i-text mo lang. Opisina, the agency, Rodrigo Duterte, Office of the President, nag-humihingi ng 50 mil sa mga. Lalabas yan doon. But I will also give them the right to be heard. They can also text back. Bakit nagtagal? Pero sa lahat ng gobyerno ngayon, except those without or beyond my control, yung mga separate judiciary, pati Congress, it's one month. One month ang papel mo. It's a... Approve or disapprove, palabasin mo one month. Sa sudad ko noon, sa dabaw, three days, Business clearance, electrical connections, yung sa bumbero na yan, isa pa yan. Putit na laap, kayo, isa rin kayong... <laughs> Kasi yung business, it, it has to pass by the... Pagdating doon sa police, doon sa fire department, yung building clearance mo, pagkata... Kinigay ba? Pagbigay ng papel, pabilihan ka ng fire extinguisher. May kontak yan sila, eh, mga fire extinguisher. Uh, kaya mabuti pa, pag nandiyan sila, sunugin mo na yung bahay mo. Okay. Patayin mo yan ang extinguisher mo. Ganon ang racket yan. And everything doon sa LTO, but I place General Galvante. He's very good. Tony Delgras. Eh, basta yung regulation. Yung nire-regulate. So sabi ko sa cabinet, the least intervention, the better. The least ang pakialam natin dyan sa papatakbo ng gobyerno. So, one man tayong lahat. Pati ako. And down the line, sabi ko kay Secretary Sueno ng DILG to establish an order plea procedure. Three days. Yung mga mayors, pag hindi kayo maka, ano, bigay ninyo yung authority sa... 
Doon sa sinong demonyong gusto niyang bigyan niya. Basta three days. Ngayon, ayaw kong makipag-away. I know that yung local officials are only under my supervision. I do not have the control gaki ng cabinet. The cabinet is under my control and supervision. Meaning to say, you can change their decision. That is control. Kunyari, may decision si Secretary Andanar, ay hindi ko nagustuhan, I can change it. But sa mga local, uh, is they elected, siyempre, hindi ka makipaalam. But under, I, I see to it that everything is orderly and, of course, correct. Pag hindi, correct. Ah, yan tayo magkaya, hindi magkaintindihan. Now, I do not want really to interfere. The least intervention sa amin. But I would like to urge, inahamon ko ang local government because this, uh, this piece of memo to reach them. Huwag ninyo masyadong pahirapan talaga ang Pilipino. Otherwise, ako, di na makatakbo. At mayroon silang sinasabi na hindi ko matapos ang six years ko. Yung iba sabi nila, makudita ako. Yung sabi iba mga taga-Amerika, lahat ng Pilipino sa Amerika, magpunta doon sa Manila kasi, sige, mag lahat ng Pilipino. Bagsak tayo doon sa ilalim ng Manila Bay. Tignan mo. <laughs> sa hangin nila, mga hangin ito, they think that they can change. Who are you to change the choice of the people? But paro ako, sabi ko nga, huwag ninyo akong takutin. Because I became president, by almost a miracle to me. At least I sabi ninyo, ay, pera yan, terorismo. Well, you're entitled to your own opinion. But you guys, you were living witnesses to what transpired during the last election. That's a destiny. So if God wants me to be there only two years, He will find the reason to oust me. Either He will kill me, babagsak ako, O oh, ang military, magsabi sila, ayaw na namin. O oh, sige. Parang na lang yung kudita madugo yan. Kasi hindi rin talaga ako lalabas dyan sa opisina ko buhay. Patayin mo muna ako. Pero sige. Two year, three years. Kayo, wala dito. Linya. Huwag lang tayo magpatayan. Ah, right it on. Ay, ay, general. Ano, kami na ngayon. O oh, di sige, bye-bye. Inyo na. O oh, di kayo, so, you solve the problem of the Philippines. So, what does that mean to me? That is part of my destiny. Huwag ninyong akong takutin kasi para sa akin, bigay ng Diyos, yan ang buhay ko, pati yung trabaho. Ngayon, anytime kunin niya sa akin yan, then that is the part of the history of my presidency. So, forget about yung auster, auster. Kasi pag mainit ang ulo ko, na... Ang tingin ko sa inyo, puro drug addict, bang, 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 bang. Siyo, ino. Kita nyo yung ganun? Mamili, bet, kayo lang. Yung iba siguro, takutin ninyo ng ganun. Mahirap yan. Alam mo, palagay tayo niyang, sinasabi ko pa noon sa mga asawa ko, sa to. Sagutin mo ako, kasi ako ang matapang. Gwapo, ah, questionable yan. Hindi <laughs> naman tayo tisoy kagaya kay Senator Gaetano. Hmm. Uh, ay, ordinaryo lang, pero uh, we have to do it right. But what I can really assure you is that until the last drug pusher, until my God, Criminal, uh, international crime, whatever is your name, and the EU and all, until the last drug pusher is out of the streets, until the last drug lord, <laughs> then we stop. Then I will declare that the war has ended. When? Until the last day of my term, if it needs be. Ganon ang istorya niya. Hindi ninyo ako naintindihan. 
Kasi hindi niyo sinusunod ang utak ko kasi hindi niyo ako kilala. That's the problem. Hindi ako kilala ng mga elitista, mga oligarchs. Hindi naman ako kilala ng mga politiko. Do not threaten me, Mr. Yosef. Ngayon, kung sabihin mo tuloy na ang mga lahat ng magaganda sa Pilipinas hindi na makalapit sa akin, eh problema yan, ma'am. So, uh, gaganda ang buhay natin. In the fullness of God's time, gaganda ang by the grace of Allah. Salam alaikum, aking mga kapatid. Gaganda yan, sigurado ako. I give you my word. I give you my honor. Talagang malinis itong gobermento. And crime has to stop so that it will not bug the Filipino people of their kung paano natin pagandahin ang bayan. I'm 71. I do not even expect I could complete this, the whole, uh, that's too far away. Ta talo, dalawang, tatlong buwan lang tayo, bakbaka na eh. So, but, uh, no more of yung umuwi kayo. Kaya kayo, pagka may maghingi sa inyo, sa airport pa lang, sampalin mo na kagad. Ito, 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 ito. I will authorize you to use... Huwag naman barilin kasi. Diba? Kaya galing man kayo sa labas. No more yan. Bala-bala. Kakainin mo yan. Sabi ko, pag sinabi ko, huwag ninyo akong hiyain mga kasama ko sa guberno. Huwag ninyo akong hiyain. Do not put me to shame kasi talagang babanatan kita. Maniwala ka. Ay, so, magtanong ka lang ng taga-dabaw. Taga-dabaw, nung na-election ako, sabi ko, criminals, go out of my city because if I find you here, I will kill you. That is a legitimate and valid statement. Sabi ko, mga durugista, umalis kayo. Pag hindi kayo umalis, papatayin ko kayo. Yung hindi umalis, patay. Yung iba, ayawan ko, karamihan ng problema nila sa Pilipino, sa Malaysia. Kasi nandoon yung mga, pati sa Hong Kong, ah, di nagdispatan, eh di doon kayo sa ibang lugar. Huwag sa Davao City. So, look at Davao City. It was ahead of its time. I was just a pumuputok pati yung simbahan natin, airport. But because talagang hinawakan ko, na medyo magulo, pero along the way, it was almost, sabi ko nga in the speech ko, it will be a rough ride. Come and join me. Di ba sa inaugural speech ko? Kung ibig sabihin, madugo to. Pero kung, then, stand by my side. Ubusin natin yung bad boys. Kasi ako kasi, bad boy noon, nag-graduate naman ko, good boy na ako ngayon. <laughs> oh. ah, kaya nito ha? Si Sunny Dominguez. Kababata ko to. Kabaw. Since kindergarten. Palediktoryan yan. Palediktoryan. Sa ating namin sa high school, si Kanyer, nasipa ako. Siya patuloy ang palediktoryan, palediktoryan. Ako napunta ng Digos, Davao del Sur. Utang anak tagal. <laughs> na took me seven years sa high school. Oh, palak may lak bayo lang. Sabi ng nanay ko, Rodrigo, ang teacher yun eh. Wala ka na, wala ka na ipag-asa mag... Sabi ko siya, 75. Tumatama na yan. Basta makaakyat lang, parang hagdanan yan eh. Kung hindi ka makailangan na mag... 95, malayo. Hulog ka ba dyan? Nandahan lang. Sabi na, so my mother never really, what's sad is that, hindi niya ako naabutan sana maging presidente. At tatay ko talagang, tagal yun namatay. He left this universe. 
Talagang walang sabi niya hanggang pantalan. Bisaya yan eh. Yung that's a ecclesia or an idiom in Bisayan. Ha? Pag sinabi hanggang pantalan ka lang, ibig sabihin yung kargador ka lang. <laughs> Ayan ang tatay ko, ikaw? Oh, hindi kami nag- No, I mean he died. Hindi ko masyara maganda ang relasyon namin. Eh, hindi siya believe sa akin. Na ikaw, pantalan ka lang. <laughs> eh, si kargador, gusto mo? Sabi ko, basta bayaran lang ako sa karga ko. <laughs> okay naman yan. Yeah, 75-75. Do you know ba? Yes, ay. Karumit ko man to. Karumit kami sa low school. UP siya, Padre Power, uh, San Beda. Oh, bright. Uh, Duresa. Doon ako napunta sa high school na nandoon si Duresa. Naabutan ko siya. Nauna pa siya graduate sa akin. Anak na <laughs> high school. Ano ba to? Totoo. Duresa was a valedictorian, pag-graduate. Puro yan sila, valedictorian. <laughs> Ang defense secretary, John Lorenzana. Alam mo, hindi ko alam yan. Pastor Kibuloy is from doon pinanganak ko, Tabato City. Eh, si Delvin assigned noon sa, he brought in the second uh, One battalion of uh, scout rangers noon. Dabaw, magulo. At siya, tapos nakilala kami because I was mayor. Kaya siya, nung naghanap, pakapa ako, valediktoryan. Alam mo kung sabi sa akin? Pastor Kibuloy. Yan ang valediktoryan namin. No? Sa PMA. PMA year ito. O puro valediktoryan. Valediktor. Kair. Good lawyer. Si John Esperon. He is my uh, advisor sa national security. So, tignan mo. Tignan mo ang buhay. Tignan mo ang buhay. Trabahante ko lahat. <laughs> Di ba? So, what's the... There's no secret, actually. All you have to do, baske naka, ano, because baske naka, ano, ka, you have to have values in life. Baske ako ganito lang, sabi na pumapatay, eh, yan ang gusto mo eh. Sinabi ko na sa inyo, hindi. Eh, ginusto mo yan. You have the free choice. Kaya itong mga taga, mga mga, kung ta, extra diesel, walang. I look beyond that. Hindi ako nagsasabi na patayin mo yan si uh, ating ambassador. Sinabi ko lang, <laughs> sinabi ko lang, magtrabaho kayo and give me a clean environment. Yan ang order ko kay Bato, yung PNP chief. Ito naman, kasing yabang ko. Tinawagan ko, batole ka. Gusto mo, gusto mo pa na matagal ka sa pwesto mo dyan? Sabi ko, sir. Pasaba tayo, sir. Man, huwag ka masyadong, kaya bang unahan mo pa ang presidente? Tumahimay ka dyan, o. Oh. Huwag mong kunin yung stilo, hindi mo pa panahon. Sige, pagkatapos mo tumakbo ka ng bakapan kita. Kaya, mananalo yan. Kaya, magganong-ganong lang yung ulit. Pero by that time, kung you have to create the problem to react to it because if there is no problem, nothing to react to. So wala ka. That's the reason why. You have to have a problem and you are the problem solver, but you have to create the problem. You do not solve the problem, you do not react to this no problem at all. Wala. So, ganito lang ang panahon. I'm just reacting to the problem. Kaya kung wala yan, I'd be sabi ko nga, Yan yung also my word, please. Six years ago. But if they can craft the cab, the, 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 not the cabinet, but some, yung peace, ano natin. Nagkipag-usap ako sa komunista. Nag-uusap na tayo ngayon sa Oslo. Doresa is really a jet-lagged guy. Pag ganun-ganun yan, kailan ka dumating? 
kahapon from pag-agnong ka siya sebagai international celebrity ni siya sa iyong siya yung tinatanggap ng iyong siya yung tinatanggap ng sabi ko sige inyo na yan si Doresa marami pa ako dito uh, uh, siya he's handling the PR goodwill ganun eh ako naman buga ng buga because I do not want eh ganun ako eh Eh, baske tanong mo, buhay pa naman si Presidente Arroyo. Basi sa harap ni Presidente Arroyo noon. Because I was taken in, di ba, ginawa niya akong advisor o consultant on public security. Pagka nandiyan kami sa loob, pinapatawag kami, tapos hindi kami nagkaintindihan yung mga general. Nagmumura ako. Kay, kayo dyan eh. So, ganun lang ang bunga nga ako. But I, I do, I, wala akong ano. Pagsabayan lang ako. Kaya, baske anong klaseng argument natin, huwag lang sana, it is an issue of my country. Talagang magkaproblema tayo. Kaya yan, drugs, it is not really an issue of drugs. It is the survival of the next generation. Kasi kung puro may tama yan lahat, it starts with the family. Magsiseparate talaga. Pangkahan kita, ay, ano pala yan? Putulin niya para hindi mag-abot ng Pilipinas. <laughs> Di, huwag na lang mapapasubo pa. It's okay. Yung, ang pamilya talagang sasabog. It starts with the family dysfunctional. Then, ang anak mo problema, magnakaw na. Yeah, that start na. Ipagbili yung mga kutsi ninyo. Hanggang wala na. And one year, two years, use of shabu. Sabi nga ng Amerikano, sila mo nagsabi, will shrink the brain of a human being. Now, how many of the Filipinos of the four million have their brains shrunk already by shabu? Tanongin ko ang human right. Now, you worry about the 3,000? Hindi nga nyo. Sabi, 3,000. Let me ask you, who was my 50th victim? Sinong pangalan? Babae o lalaki? Anong edad niya? Saan tinapon? Anong ginamit? Mahirap yan. You just make a sweeping state tapos ipakulong mo ako. Buang. Magtakutay ng ganun. I have this, it is a, sabi ko nga eh, kung totoo man, ikulong na ninyo ako, I do not mind. 71, how many years more? 5, 6, 7? Ay, bakit pag ako, may wala akong ambisyon mag-abot ng 80. <laughs> Mag, I will even ask God now, please, pagkatapos ko sa presidency, o natanggal ako dyan, tapusin mo na ako. Kasi gusto ko na magpunta sa nanay pati tatay ko kung nakawaan sila. Ganoon lang yan. Wala akong ambisyon dyan na actually tapos na ako. I can even may see my life in front of me. I, I, I never lost an election since 1988. Wala na akong mahingi sa Diyos. Kaya ang hinihingi ko, buhay ko na lang. Na magmasagana hanggang katapos ako sa trabaho ko. Kaya wala akong ambisyon. Pera, gusto ko rin sa Wala, totoo. Wala akong fascination. Baski noon pa, pari, yung classmate ng kanya, no? Tiis kami lahat. Wala akong kutsi-kutsi, kagal ka yung... Totoo. Binangga pa ni Yasay. Karumit kami. Karumit kami, Yasay, pati ako. Kaharap namin si Dulay, yung BIR, pati Bebot Belio. Mga puro Ilocano yan, kami dito. Ano. Kaya, ano ako eh? Uh, comfortable kami. Dumbitorio eh. So I can manage well with every crowd sa Pilipinas. Dulay na yan, he's very honest. Baski nung taga MCA pa kami, so, dormitorio, minsan fully week. So, may PX doon, nakawan. So, ninakaw namin yung mga sigarilyo na maganda. 
So, pagdating ng pulis, pag-report, nung hanap, ang pulis nga tanong, meron, uh, bakit nga sila? Bakit yung lahat ng sigarilyo, yung pagtapon sigarilyo, yung pagtapon, marami dyan yung mga Winston, yung imported, ay eh, siyempre na ako, eh, si Amere ko, <laughs> ay one namin kung sino ang nagnakaw. Pero dulay, ayaw talaga yan. Ah, wala yan. Bebot, bilyo, ha? Ah. So, lahat kami nagtatrabaho. Do not place any premium sa aming position. Wala yan, Presidente. Uh, ako, I have to, ang tawag lang niya sa akin, Mayor. Because uh, I have asked everybody, I'm not comfortable with President. So, Mayor, okay lang. Tawag niya ako, Mayor. Ito to. Do not call me President. I, I don't like it. Mayor, mas... Kasi hindi nga ako, sabihin ninyo, yung Duterte ninyo, hindi pa ang presidente yan. Oh, okay. I'm not, it, the issue is not really whether you like me or not as your president. The issue is corrupt, ang corruption, criminality, drugs. Matapos ko lang yung tatlo na yan, maganda na ang bayan ko. Aangat na yan. Kaya bigyan mo ninyo ako. There are so many issues now about my going to China, about my relation with the U.S. I am not picking a quarrel with anybody. I just want to be friends with all. Then America maybe will understand it. Uh, but uh, it takes time for them to, you know, understand geopolitics, where I find myself now in the matters of the issues global, in some business, then they want to put up uh, Another bank, then you have this uh, another body, at ang tayo hindi member kasi pobre lang. Kalkulukuhan to sabi. Tapos sa EU, they want you to, alam mo, ayaw mo ko, pinirmahan, 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 pinirmahan tayo sa protocol? Ha? Sa gas emission? Hindi ako pinirmahan niya, huwag niya. You know, huwag mo akong limitan kasi ratio and proportion eh, ganon. Hindi ka pwedeng magtaas. Because ang climate change, kung bababa, ganun rin. Anak na. You, because the industrial nations of the world, you spewed up a lot of poison and gas all throughout this hundred years. Starting with your conquest sa Middle East. You took advantage of the, well, the, the fat of the land. Including the Philippines noon, 50, 50 years and 400 years we suffered imperialism. Tapos ngayon, ganun ninyo kami. Kayong umabot na, all, the, all, all along, you poison the entire planet. And yet, kami, hindi na kami makataas. So, how, how can I, how can now I set up ito mga industrial zones? Kung limitahan mo ako, I hope you have to approach it in a very realistic way. It could not be a binding treaty if it does not work to the best interest of my country. Oh, kayo yung dyan, ano? Ilan mo ng ating faktores? When did we ever improve? Almost stagnant nga tayo eh. So we have to, we have to push talagang, ano? And the only way to do it is really push forward. The only move, the only forward move that we can make is Mag-umpisa sa gobyerno ninyo. Mag-umpisa talaga. Huwag kayo, sabi ko sa airport. Una pa lang gustong humingi. Sabi, mo, sabi ni Duterte, sampaling ka ro. Tapos sampaling, tawagan mo ako. Totoo. Pakita ko sa inyo paano magsipa ng tao sa publiko. Ay ako, ganun. Ay, talagang sumisipa ako ng tao. Sabi nila, Ay, Duterte, hindi na manalo yan. Kasi nanampal. Ay, ay, ay. Kung ayaw, gusto ng Diyos, di wala na. O pagkatapos ng ano, gusto ng Diyos. Kaya huwag ninyo akong sisihin. Kung gusto ninyo, may galit kayo, gusto ninyong sigawan. Sigawan ninyo ang Diyos. <laughs> Kasi ang Diyos naglagay sa akin dito. Okay? So, 
we all we all believe in God. Uh, ako naman ay sa uh, well, ako siya uh, ang, ang pamilya ko, even my son married a Maranao and mother, mother pati tauso ang tatay niya. So it kind of makes in my mga apo ko half of the line there is uh, are all Moro. Each other tauso or Maranao. Ako, well, but I we believe in God. So God says that in the fullness of God's time, what He prophesied for nation, this nation, the Philippines, will be realized. So with that, with that promise of God, di yan akin. Ako, utusan ninyo ako. I will work to what, strictly in accordance with what God wanted me. Kasi nga ang pagka-presidente ko, almost destiny. It's a miracle to me. So he wants me to improve my country, stop corruption, and make the lives of the Filipinos comfortable. Maraming salamat po.